Yes, people. Yes, people. Yes, people. It looks like the man is finally on the move. Kylian Mbappe looks like he's leaving PSG. Finally. It looks like this has been four years too late. But the man finally has ambition and he's leaving PSG. Obviously, we saw in the summer he didn't want to extend his contract. He kept on refusing to sign a new contract and he's entering the final six months of his contract and it looks like he's leaving as a free agent. So PSG are not only seeing Mbappe leave, but they're also seeing him leave for free. So they're not getting any money out of him. So PSG are in the mud and Mbappe, he's, he's a free agent in the summer and it looks like he's finally going to Real Madrid. Obviously, news is coming out that um, Real Madrid, uh, Perez has contacted Mbappe. They're preparing the contract. I think he's going to earn 15 million a season and um, he's going to be joining them in the summer. So he's finally going to Real Madrid. Let me tell you one thing, yeah. Real Madrid, these guys have done it again. These guys have pulled off things like this again. And these guys are set for the next 10 years, easily. If you look at the team they have, they have Camavinga, Chumeni, uh Bellingham, Vinic Vinicius Jr. And now Mbappe joining the roster as well. And on top of that too, you have players like Arda Guler developing. Endrick coming through as well. Um, Rodrigo as well, he's a good player as well. So not only are they set for the next 10 years, years as well they also have quality backups for their new guard it's incredible these guys they never go through a rebuilding phase if you see teams like manchester united liverpool barcelona they need a rebuild they need like at least like a rebuild project that will take like three or four years with the right manager and the right signings real madrid if you notice one thing about them they never need a rebuild never do every time their new guard is aging every time sorry every time their old guard is aging Players like, you know, Cruz, Modric, whatever. They're aging, they're aging, they're aging. Other clubs would hold on to them for too long until they're completely finished. And then they need a rebuild. Real Madrid, they see it at the right time. They're like, oh, okay. If we keep Cruz for too long, if we keep Modric around for too long, they're going to be completely finished and it's just to ruin the team. That's why we need a replacement now. We need a replacement now for the next 10 years. And that's exactly what they've done. They got rid of Casemiro. They bought in Chouameni. They saw Cruz was aging, they bought in Camavinga. Um, Modric is obviously aging now, he doesn't even start for Real Madrid anymore. They bought in Jude. And now, obviously, Benzema left last summer as well. They're bringing in Mbappe. These guys always go through a quick one-year transition, and then boom, they're back to winning. The, the transition phase from old guard to new guard is so quick. You don't notice it at all. They bring in players who are young, talented, and are going to be here at the club for the next 10 years, but can also come in and replace the stars of the old guard. That's why you see players like Bellingham coming in and replacing Modric. You have players like, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chuomeni coming in replacing Casemiro. You don't notice a difference at all. Because they play on the same level. And Real Madrid just planned for years and years and years. This is why they're the biggest club in the world. You don't see this at Barcelona. You don't see this at United. You don't see this at any club in the world except Real Madrid. And this is why they're the biggest club in the world and they've won 14 Champions Leagues. And they're going to continue winning Champions Leagues and Champions Leagues for years and years to come. And Perez, let me tell you, yeah, that guy is probably one of the best presidents in world football. Easily. Because if he's doing things like this, hats off. Because Real Madrid are set for decades. They are set for decades. They probably have Mbappe's uh, replacement lined up too. With probably Endrick. It's crazy. But yeah, again, this is a short little reaction video. Mbappe going to Real Madrid, most likely. We already know he's going there. People are saying Arsenal, Arsenal. Oh, he might go to Arsenal. He's not going to Arsenal. He's going to Real Madrid. But yeah, Real Madrid, they're looking real scary. They're looking real scary. Vinicius, Mbappe, Rodrigo as their front three with Jude Bellingham, Camavinga in behind. <sighs> Real Madrid, these guys are, these guys are, uh, these guys might do another three-peat in the Champions League. So we'll see what happens. Mbappe going to Real Madrid. Finally, he'll get to build a legacy. He's a very good player, very Phenomenal player, and he, I think he deserves to go build a legacy. So, I think he'll do well at Madrid, and we'll see what happens. So, Mbappe to Real Madrid. It's a quick little reaction video, just on my thoughts.